Super Spectacular Bible Stories with Mr. Blake and Nettie. Every day, Jesus is the answer. So cool. Oh, that is a lot of fun. So Jesus is always the answer. Uh, but I have a lot of questions, like how many spots do cows have? And what's the oldest snail in the whole world? And how much chocolate is too much chocolate? Does Jesus have an answer for that? Uh, well, Nettie, I think you're a little bit confused. Why don't we check out an awesome Bible story all about two men who discovered that in their time of need, Jesus was not only the answer, but more than they could ever imagine. Oh yeah, let's do it! Okay, it's time for an awesome story from the Bible. Oh, my favorite! Here, we'll start on a dark and stormy uh, night. Uh, 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 uh. How about I start this one? It wasn't stormy, but it was night. One night, two brothers, Peter and Andrew, who were experienced fishermen, spent all night throwing their nets in an attempt to catch as many fish as possible. Oh, cool! Night fishing! Did they have night vision goggles to see the huge sharks they were catching? No, and no. Peter and Andrew were trying to catch a bunch of smaller fish because they depended on these fish to make money. But despite their tireless efforts, they caught nothing. Ah, oh, I guess that's why they call it fishing, not catching. <laughs> ah, maybe they should have tried using hot dogs. When they came back to shore with empty nets in hand, the two fishermen were met by a crowd of people listening to a man preach the word of God. Or maybe they were all there to visit the lakefront water park that I know they definitely had. Uh, that doesn't sound quite right. The man that they were listening to and they were all gathered to see was Jesus. Jesus stepped onto Peter and Andrew's boat and asked the two men to throw their nets in the water just one more time. What? But I'm confused. Didn't they already try throwing their nets in like a bajillion times? Well, the men were confused too, but they did as Jesus instructed, despite having caught nothing the very same night before. And then something miraculous happened. The entire lake turned into jello? Wow, this is the best story ever. Uh, actually, their nets began to overflow with fish. Whoa, well that's even cooler. And there were so many fish that their boat could barely hold them all. The men were so overwhelmed with joy. Jesus then invited the men to follow him and fish for people every day. Ah, uh, well, last time I checked, people don't live in water. What bait would you even use, like hamburgers? Well, fish for people means that Jesus wants us to tell others about what he has done for us and what he wants to do for them. Oh, cool. From that day forward, Peter and Andrew chose to follow Jesus because they knew that Jesus was the answer every day. Wow, well, I would have loved to have seen that. I mean, nets overflowing with fish, that would be insane. Jesus really is the answer to everything that we could possibly need. Whether we're lost or sick or scared or nervous or confused, Jesus is the answer every single day. Oh, you've got that right. And that was a super spectacular Bible story 